Hello everybody, welcome back to my Minecraft survival adventure. Here I am on top of this huge mountain, had a bit of a climb before I started the stream today. Just cause look at the view, it's amazing, fantastic view. You can see my house down there, my whole village, the meadows. Today I've titled the episode Wealth because I think that my main goal for today is going to be, well, to gain wealth. I want to go caving, I want to find diamonds, and I want to get a bunch of iron. To kick off the iron, I'm actually going to be starting up here, because something that I have found is that on these huge mountain ranges, it is quite easy to find iron, as you can see right here. So I think I'm going to start off by just mining all of the iron that I have here. Because mining in the caves is dangerous. And I'm going to need quite a bit of iron if I want to do it safely. I also really want to make that easy bake furnace thing that I was mentioning last time. Which also requires a lot of iron. I'm hoping to get maybe like a stack of iron. And then head back from there. Ow. It's getting pretty dark. I might just sleep really quick. So I don't need to deal with all the creepy crawlies of the night. There we go. Oh, there's a lot more iron right here. Just recently I heard about, for like the fourth time this year, or in the last couple of years, that TikTok is supposedly getting banned. But this time it's actually going to happen. The last few times I heard about it, it just, nothing ever really came out of it, but this time it seems like they might actually do it. From what I've heard, it seems like they're going to have about nine months or so to basically sell TikTok off to an American company, probably like Microsoft or Google or whatever. And if they don't sell it off within nine months, then it's going to be, I guess, banned from the App Store, is what I'm assuming. Me personally, I don't really use TikTok that much. I mean... I upload stuff on TikTok, like uh, clips from videos and whatnot, but in terms of actually using TikTok to watch content in my spare time, I pretty much never use it. If anything, I use YouTube Shorts a hell of a lot more than, uh, than I do TikTok. So I'm somewhat indifferent as to whether it actually does end up getting banned or not, but I can definitely see how it'll probably negatively affect a lot of people, especially content creators. Even more so a lot of the smaller content creators, because TikTok is a great place to push your content out for discoverability. As soon as that's taken away, it's going to be a lot harder for all these creators to get their stuff out there. Oh no, I just remembered. I rode Peter up onto this hill, and now I've got no clue where he's went. He might have just walked off the edge. I gotta go check on him. Please don't tell me that he just walked off. Why is there an entire pillager family up there? Don't they normally only come near villages? There's no village here. Am I gonna have to fight all these guys now? Oh, Peter, where are you? Peter. I wish I had one of those horse whistles. Like in the Legend of Zelda games. You just whistle and your horse just appears. Okay, this is the peak that I rode him up to. Oh. My pick just broke. That is... That is actually catastrophic. I kind of needed that. Now I'm going to have to pillar up here. Peter? Oh no, he's not here. Uh-oh. Where is he? Oh, there you are. Thank God. Peter, I found you. Careful there. The dangerous cliff face. Well, I didn't get as much iron. Actually, I did get... I got a stack and a half. That's pretty decent. I could have gotten way more, but my pickaxe just didn't last. Just recently, I actually finished watching the, uh, the Fallout show. The Fallout TV show that just came out. God, it's such a good show. <laughs> As a Fallout fan, I can say that show is amazing. It's got to be my favorite video game adaptation. I made a video about it recently. I think a lot of people share my 
thoughts on it. It just does such a good job at capturing the Fallout sort of feel and vibe. Watching the show actually made me go back and replay Fallout 3. I just finished Fallout 3 for the first time, actually. Like yesterday or the day before that. And it was actually a very enjoyable experience. I'm not gonna lie, I, originally I thought I was gonna replay Fallout 4. I played Fallout 4 for a few hours. I thought I was gonna keep on playing it and then I started playing Fallout 3 and I actually found myself being pulled into Fallout 3 much more than Fallout 4. What I've always associated with the Fallout feel is that contrast of super grim and depressing themes mixed with that cheery and fun vibe with all the the music and the jokes and the humor. Hello Marshall, I didn't forget about you. All right, I'm gonna leave this iron smelting. I think I might actually breed these dogs. All right guys, choose your partners wisely. I want a good mix of genes going on here. We got some puppies, perfect. All right, I'm gonna sit all you guys down in this corner. Come here, sit, sit, except for Marshall. Marshall can stay over here. Come here, Marshall, sit down. Good boy. Okay, to the caves I go, I guess. I need to find some diamonds. Oh, actually, I should take Peter with me. Now, where was the main cave that I use? Maybe I'll go find another one, actually. Oh, there's a bit of a cave here. I'm not sure how deep it goes. It looks like a dead end, actually. I might need to start working on my own little mine shaft, to be completely honest. I think I'm just gonna go back, find a nice spot near my base and dig like a fairly sizable staircase down to, I guess, bedrock. Or maybe I'll just dig down until I find a decent sized cave and then I'll just start mining through there. Let's see, where should I build a mine shaft? Might do it down there. I can make like a little pathway going down later. Yeah, I'll do it right here. I don't have cobblestone. I want to use cobblestone to build the uh, above ground, like little room for it. But for now, I'm just going to start with the hole. Now, I could do two, two wide hole. Three wide would be really nice though, but it would just take so long to dig a three wide hole that deep. So I might just go with two. I suppose while I'm digging this hole, I can maybe look into some of the recent news around gaming in general something to talk about while i'm digging this hole down to bedrock it's gonna take a little while let's be honest apparently gary's mod is removing 20 years worth of nintendo related items from their steam workshop that is quite interesting it actually took a lot longer than i expected for that to happen if you know nintendo you know that they're pretty intense when it comes to all that all their copyright and whatnot that's gonna be a lot of stuff that needs to be taken down from that garry's mod marketplace i used to play garry's mod so much back in the day it used to be the only game me and my friends would play it was the one game that everyone had and it was just sort of known as the only game that we really played this is a very nice cave here how deep does the rabbit hole go we'll never know we go down and check but yeah me and my friends used to pretty much only play gary's mod exclusively back when we were in uh early high school and i know for a fact there is a lot of nintendo related stuff on that workshop because people make player models on there for pretty much every character you can imagine the amount of mario and just all the nintendo ips honestly zelda stuff and everything from smash bros Pokemon stuff. There's so much on that Gary's Mod workshop that is Nintendo related. It's going to be hard for them to even really properly enforce that because there's... People are definitely going to keep on uploading Nintendo stuff on there. I'm sure they're probably going to have some sort of a word filter or like a description filter where it, it reads the description for mentioning any names from Nintendo or any games and then it just auto bans the workshop mod but People are gonna get around that. They'll, they'll change the name slightly so that it doesn't get picked up. And I'm sure people will probably find a way just to share the workshop add-ons elsewhere on like a third party site where they can't be moderated. People will find a way around it, but it is interesting to see that 
Nintendo is going that far, whereas to basically just blacklist all the Nintendo related mods on the Gary's Mod Workshop. Another little cavern here. No significant caves yet though. I hate building these mine shafts through underwater little deposits. Gotta get rid of all the source blocks. There's more water. Absolutely fantastic. Cave sound. Apparently PUBG's original map is coming back. Orangel. The map from Early Access. I remember playing on that map. I used to play PUBG back when it was the most popular Battle Royale. I actually started playing Battle Royale with, um, I think it was Armor 3 or something. There was, I think it was actually Player Unknown's Battle Royale mod for Armor 3. Some point after that became fairly popular. H1Z1 had its Battle Royale, which I also played. Not long after that, I think we got PUBG and then Fortnite eventually. More water. Well, I need to go straight through this bit of water here. It's going to be fun. Let's build the tunnel. Hello there. Akafalos 309 What's up? Nothing much, just playing some Minecraft. What about you? Where is this source block? Is it on here? Oh, it is. Come on, get rid of all the water, please. There we go. Now I can continue. Oh, you're playing Minecraft as well. Nice. Having a big mining session. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do right now. I've been looking for a, a big cavern or something to start getting some diamonds. I haven't played much of the more recent updates. The caves are so big now. And much more dangerous too, because there's a lot of dark spots. Oh, that's a creeper. I should probably get my shield out. Hello, sir. Thank you for blowing up my beautiful cobblestone staircase. I guess he kind of helped me dig the staircase out in a way. Not too bad. Oh, but he opened up this water cavern on the side, so now I need to block it all off. Thank you so much, creeper. Continuing downwards. What am I at right now? Y72? Still got a ways to go to bedrock. I'm gonna keep trying to make these stairs and hopefully I don't get snuck up on by something. This place is huge. Oh, there's water flowing down. There's a hole to the surface over there. That's cool. Ooh, spider webs. Could actually use the string. Oh, who's that? Creeper. Go away. Gotcha. I'm gonna start putting some torches down. See if I can stop the mobs from spawning a bit. I gotta build like a wall around this staircase so that I don't get abused. Beautiful. Let me try to get a roof going. Boom, bang, boom, right there. I'm gonna have to start using andesite because I've run out of cobble. That's fine. I never meant for this to look pretty, it just needs to be effective. Probably gonna run out of blocks anyway. Oh, I still have a bunch more andesite. I'm good. I gotta put more torches in here because if I forget to do that, then I'm gonna have a rude surprise when I climb back up and there's a creeper in my face. Ah yes, gravel. Who likes gravel in Minecraft? Falls on your head, it kills you. Gets in the way when you're digging in caves. Nothing but an inconvenience. And a way of getting flint, to be fair. Oh, there goes my... Was that my backup pickaxe? It was. I need to go back up. Oh yeah, concrete. Forgot about concrete. I've wanted to use concrete in builds before, but it just seems like such an effort. You gotta make the mix and you gotta like put water next to it or something. I'm sure there's a more efficient way of doing it. I've never really looked into it though. Okay, there's mobs everywhere. Great. Let's sleep real quick and then make myself a couple more pickaxes. Oh, my iron's done smelting. Perfect. Now that I've got all this iron, before I go back down, I'm going to make myself the easy bake system that I was mentioning earlier. Pretty much just a bunch of hoppers, hoppers, chests, furnaces that allow me to somewhat automate the smelting process. I'm going to need a lot of hoppers though, it's going to cost a lot of iron. Maybe I'll start off with a smaller, smaller oven and 
I'm actually out of cobblestone. I can just break these furnaces. Hello, witch. Can you please get away from my porch? It's an effort, and I was reading it's not really much stronger than cobblestone, if at all. So it's a lot of effort for kind of no reason. Yeah, it is. It's... I guess if you want it for the way it looks. Like, if you... If you really need the concrete look to build something, just for the uh, creative aspect of it, but for actual usability, it's not really worth making, I don't think. Sounds like I need an iron farm. Yep, definitely do need an iron farm, that would be nice. I don't think I've ever even made an iron farm in survival before. I've always just went mining for it. The pack that I'm using right now, though, generates these huge mountains, and I was just up there earlier when I started the stream, there's so much iron up on those mountain peaks that it's almost not even worth going into the caves to find iron because you can find it so easily up there and mine it. The main reason I'm going caving though is because I need the diamonds. Where should I even put this? I want to put it downstairs so it's easy access. Um, I guess I'll just build it right here for now. I'll build it a bit into the floor. Oh, I need one more hopper. Of course, I was one short. There we go, one there. One here. Up there, and up here. Perfect. Now that I have this, I can get all my potatoes to start baking, I guess. Let me get the coal in. Half in there, half in there. Get all the potatoes out. Put a stack in there, stack in there. Half of that stack in there and half it in there. Okay, what else I got? I got copper. Anything else that needs to smelt? Got a bunch of iron. Ooh, I got raw food. Yeah, I can fix that real quick now. Blit the rabbit. I don't know if it's going to have enough fuel. I might need to throw in some wood just in case. I'm going to go kill this witch. Come here. Death will come to you. There you go. I don't want no witches on my porch. I'll leave the flint. I don't need flint. Time to go back into the mines. I hear zombies, but I've locked myself out of that cavern now. Don't you worry about that. I can't recall where diamond spawns now. I remember back in the day it was like Y13 or 14, but I'm sure they changed it since they lowered the world height down to like negative 64 or whatever it is. Yeah, I'm in Java. I'm playing the uh, Java edition 1.20.4, I believe. Playing the same version. Best levels are negative 58 and negative 59. Yeah, I figured it would be somewhere around there. Basically right at the bottom. I'll get there eventually. Thing is, once I build this, uh, these stairs down to the bottom once, it's not like I'm gonna have to do it again. I'll just have this cave near my house forever. And I can strip mine if I want, although I'd rather not strip mine. I'm hoping that I find, like, a, a big cavern under there because strip mining can be effective, but it's just not as exciting as, you know, having to go through all the caverns and kill all the creepers and stuff down there. I hope there's some sort of a big cave system at the bottom. Ooh, that is a deep hole. Can't even see the bottom of that. I'm gonna have to throw a torch down. Oh, it's water. Interesting. That's a big cavern down in there. Oh, it's got some bats flying around. Oh, glow squids. One of the most useless mobs. Does this really not connect to any other caves? It's just kind of a random... ...watery section down here. I guess I'll jump in and have a look. Oh, it's all basalt at the bottom. Okay. 
Oh, it's lava here. Um, it doesn't seem like there's too much over that way. You think I could be near a mine shaft? Maybe. It would be nice. Oh, the cavern goes this way. Into another little opening. I hear skeletons though. Oh, and a creeper. Hello there, sir. Oh, it goes down that way too. I gotta not fall into the classic Minecraft caving trap of now exploring too far in one direction and getting lost. There's just another water hole. Oh my god, it goes so deep. Okay, there's nothing down here. Another hole. Leads into another cavern. Creepy cave sounds. That's the predator one. Haven't heard that one in a while. Seems like this is just a bunch of dead end holes. I guess I will continue going downwards. Oh, I'm gonna have to clear so much water here. That's gonna be good fun. Ow, I'm drowning. I should really make myself one of those squid backpacks so I don't need to worry about drowning in the water all the time. Yeah, the, uh, one of the add-ons or the mods that I've got right now is, I think it's called Traveler's Backpacks. Yeah, it is. Traveler's Backpacks. So you can make all these different bags for storing more stuff, pretty much. You can make normal ones, which they just act as a, as extra space, like this one I've got now, which I've got my wood in. But there are different types of ones you can make. So bookshelf, coal, lapis bag, snow bag, creeper bag. And a lot of these have different effects that they give you. So for example, the squid one, which is this one here, it gives you water breathing and night vision when you're under the water if you're wearing it. So it's pretty useful to have one of those just for doing underwater stuff. What other ones are there? The pumpkin backpack. If you wear the pumpkin backpack, then staring at Enderman doesn't make them angry. It's just little stuff like that. Sounds pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it is. It's a really good mod to have. I know it's not, uh, it's not vanilla, but I've just gotten too used to having it because I play every, pretty much every time I play Minecraft, I always have a couple of mods in at least, and that's always one of the ones that I have in. To me, it just feels like it's part of the game at this point because every time I play, I have it. I don't know if I'd be able to live without it. You know what? I'm actually going to go and find some squids because this... Especially as I'm getting deeper into this water here, it's going to get so annoying to continue making this without that bag. New goal! Kill some squids. Here I go. I'm just going to go probably to like the ocean area. They should be in there somewhere. I really need to put stairs on here. <laughs> Jumping up this is so slow. There we go. Back up. I don't know how to do mods. Best I got is my turtle shell helmet with Reservation 3. Hey, that still works. Whatever works for you. Mods can be annoying to set up sometimes. Especially if you've never done it before. But when I didn't know how to do it, I pretty much just looked up a few YouTube tutorials and eventually I... I figured it out. It also depends what version of Minecraft you're playing. Like, I don't know... I don't think you can get them on bedrock or on the windows uh, windows version i think only on java you can get them going okay off i go yeah another mod that i've i've got in this playthrough is the distant horizons one which lets you see 
lets you see things that are really far away. So like all those snowy mountains, for example. It pretty much just gives you unlimited render distance in a way. Oh, you only bought it a couple months ago for the first time ever. So you're new to Minecraft. That's really rare to find someone that hasn't played Minecraft before. Pretty much everyone that I've met has played Minecraft for a decent while now. It's such a popular game. But that's cool that you just got into it recently. Hope you've been enjoying it so far. I can't remember where the ocean is. I think it's this way. I think I need to climb over the mountains, actually. Oh, you're playing on a laptop. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's harder to get a lot of uh, mods going on a laptop. Well, it depends on your laptop, really. What's that down there? It's like a little village thing over there. Looks pretty cool. I have to go check that out. See what it is. It's like ruins. Then there's a couple of shacks here. It's like the remnants of some sort of old village. Oh, this is a huge tunnel right here that I can probably take my boat into. Looks like it branches off to the sides too. Let's investigate it. I'm wondering if this comes out to that ocean. Oh, there's um, a bunch of that stuff here. I forgot what it's called. The blue stuff. Oh, this goes for ages. Oh, is that an exit? I think it is. Or oh, maybe not. Oh, that's an exit. Where am I now? Birch Tiger. Just a fairly big body of water. There should be some squid lurking. Looks like there's a bunch of other caverns too. Now to find squid. Come on, squiddy, squiddy. Where are you at? There's fish down here. There's got to be squid. Oh, that's a lot of squid. Perfect. Hey, guys. I'm just here to harvest your soul. Don't run. Running makes it more painful. There's dolphins here too. Hello dolphin. Dolphini. Alright, I've got what I need now. All I need to do now is remember which one of these tunnels I came out of. I think it was this one over here. Yeah, back through here. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a... bit of an adventure back through here. It's quite a big tunnel. I need like a jet ski or something. Need to put an engine on this boat. Send it. There's some torches here. Oh yeah, there's the skull. And here's the opening. Oh, what do you know? There's a bunch of squid right here. I now have to go through all the way. Of course, though, it's pitch black night time. Oh, 
Oh, the forest is on fire. It's always a great sign. Let's go check out this fire. There's got to be a lava pool there. Yep. Oh well. It's too far gone now, I can't really stop it. It should stop on its own. Fire shouldn't spread too bad. Oh my. That hurt. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> I died. That was quick. That zombie just double tapped me like it was nothing. I'm gonna have to run back there now. Hopefully it's not too far from my base. I'll make it daytime first though. It is what it is. How far was it? I think it was just over the mountain range. I could probably take my horse, it'll be quicker that way. Come here, Peter. Let's go on another adventure. Yeah, it's really nice to have. It's in vanilla Minecraft, when you die, all your stuff just gets thrown on the floor. And if you don't make it back within, I think it's like five minutes or something. Then all of it just vanishes. Especially if you die in lava. If you die in lava, it's all just gone. But with the gravestone, you still have a chance of getting it back, even if it's in lava. And it tells you where it is, you get a little... You get this little compass that points you in the right direction. Ah. Oh. There it is. I think. Yeah. Cool. There we go. Like nothing ever happened. You lost the trident earlier. Stuff exploded and half of it landed in lava. Yeah, that's uh... That's unlucky. <laughs> that's definitely unlucky. It's happened to me before. Lost a lot of stuff to lava in this game. Gravestones are another one of those mods that I sort of run every, every time I play the game now. That and the backpack one. I kind of see them as essential mods for me now. Playing the game without them just feels weird. Now I can make myself the squid backpack. Which is exactly what I need. There we go. Squid backpack. Let me get all my blocks back and I should be able to finish up that tunnel pretty easily now. Hello frog. This frog has been chilling around my base ever since I got here. Let me see if I can just push him inside. I want to name him eventually when I get a name tag. Clearly by your constant presence at my house, you want me to make you my my frog. One day I will name you. But for now, stay in there and don't leave. Last time I put that frog in my house, all the village people came, started opening my doors and let him out. Shameful. Where's my hole? Forgot where I put it. Oh, right here. Let me just turn the thing on. Ability disabled. Ability enabled. There we go. Now I have water breathing and night vision under the water. I can see so much more now. Much better. It's a shame that it still takes ages to mine stuff under the water though, even with the squid bag. How am I going to clear all this water in here? It's going to be... I guess I can just fill it with dirt and then break all of it. But still, it's going to take a while. I'm at Y negative 2. I'm getting somewhere. I need to get to like negative 58 or something. The main thing was just this big water section that's taking ages. Once I get past this, hopefully it'll be smooth sailing from there. Alright, I think it's time to clear all this water out now. Okay. It's going to take a bit. And there we go. Now we just need to break all that again. Fun. Uh, my shovel broke. That is... Unfortunate, and it looks like it's nighttime outside, so it's gonna be a fun walk back. There we go. Oh, the frog's still here. That's good. He hasn't found his way out through the roof yet. One shovel should be enough. I don't see myself going through a whole iron shovel to get another 30 blocks down. Should be mostly stone to mine now. Is that more water? Don't tell me. Oh, it's not. I guess I am at Y negative 14 now. 
Oh, that is a big cavern. But hey, that's what I'm looking for. <gasps> diamonds! Oh my god! Yes! The first diamond, finally. And I hear a skeleton too. Mine it. Oh, there's more! There's more! Oh yes, there's a lot. A vein of eight diamonds. What more could I have asked for? Eight diamonds in a single vein? That is insane. Now, where's the hole that I came out of? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna have to mark it with something, some dirt. I guess if there's a diamond spawning here, I may as well suss the rest of this out. <gasps> More diamonds! I see! An amount of torches. Not good. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four. Four diamonds? Ooh! Five. Six. That is why, right there, ladies and gentlemen, you dig around the diamond, because that way, you make sure you don't miss any of it. Hello skeleton, I see you up there. More diamond, I see it, I'm coming. I know I have no, no more torches and I shouldn't be doing this, but I am greedy now. Oh, this is exactly the kind of cavern that I was hoping for as well. Come on, come on, more, 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 more. Nope, I think that's a sign that I should be going back now. I don't want to push my luck too much up here, or down here. I gotta take the W, and I gotta walk with it. The skeleton wants to kill me, but I will not allow it. Let me continue my stairway process here. I'll make this like an exit for this section, and then pass that. I'll just continue it. Oh, we got zombies coming. Stay back, beasts. Oh, they found the way around. Good luck getting in. Back to the surface I go with my 15 diamonds. Ah, beautiful. Rain. Just what I need. How are my crops going? They're probably all grown now. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a fat harvest. Beautiful. Is the frog still here? He is. Froggy. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Fifteen diamonds. Why is there water here? Why, why? Why does it just have to be water in this tiny little section? Water's coming from there, isn't it? Go away, thank you. Oh, a random diamond. That is very, very lucky. Let's yoinky sploinky that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Any more? Another six diamonds. I'll definitely take it. Ooh, I'm at negative 48. Ten more to go. Well, actually, to bedrock, I've got like 16, but pretty close. No, my pickaxe broke. I was so close. Oh, hang on. I can make a diamond one. <laughs> I mean, may as well, right? That'll do me. It's even quicker now. Oh, that's bedrock. I see bedrock. So I want to be on the level just above the lowest or the highest piece of bedrock. So I want to be on this level. Actually, maybe one more level because I don't really want to dig into the bedrock. There we go. Let's light this thing up. And now, 
let's make a fairly sizable room down here. It's eight on one side, I'll make it eight on the other. And there we go, an eight by eight room. I can do whatever I want in here. There's some chests and stuff and I can start strip mining if I want. But I'm definitely gonna explore that cavern before I start strip mining. Cause that is just more fun. Now it's time to walk up and wrap it up for today, boys. And here we are. Back to the surface. Back to the beautiful village. And to my beautiful house. My beautiful unfinished house. Get to it one day. I'm thinking next time I want to tackle this goal right here. Go to the nether. I think I already have... Yeah, I've already got the obsidian for it. I can build the portal whenever. I think next time, guys, to the nether it is. Because I now have... How many diamonds do I have again? Remind me. 18. I have 21 diamonds. And already a diamond pickaxe. I can start making diamond gear, which is another step on my to-do list. What else was on here? Oh yeah, the doghouse. Do so, I'll probably do some building in the next one. Oh, I can take, uh, make Easy Bake off there because I did that this episode. This thing right here. The Easy Bake system, Mark 3057. Does the job. Okay, I think it's time to wrap it up. It's been a good session. I built that giant tunnel down to bedrock now and I got a lot of diamonds, so I'm happy about that. I also got my fancy schmancy squid backpack that I'm rocking right now, which lets me breathe underwater and have night vision under the water. And I think I might even make myself a full set of diamond armor next episode. I'm feeling it. I've got more than enough diamonds to do that now. But that'll be for next time. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone who tuned in on the live stream and on YouTube. I hope that you enjoyed. You had a nice little time here with me in my Minecraft world once again. I'm going to go ahead and, as usual, leave you with the view as I end the stream. So enjoy the rest of your weeks. I'll see you next time. Until then.